In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing of the Google Android TV ADT-1 development kit. So let's get to it. So Google TV has been on the market for several years now, and it never really took off and was a huge success, as everybody had hoped. So this year, Google is rebranding the Google TV and calling it Android TV. Now, at Google I.O., they handed out these development kits. And unfortunately, I did not go to Google I.O. I had to purchase this off of eBay. And I got this for $143.50 shipped. Now, supposedly, this is a brand new unit, never been touched, never been used before. And as of the filming of this video, we're at the end of September of 2014, and Android TV should be launching sometime very shortly, probably in October. And several manufacturers are on board with creating Android TV devices. I know Asus is one of them. Now, personally, I love these streaming media boxes. They're inexpensive, they're fun to play with, and I use them a lot. Unfortunately, as the years go on, you get smarter TVs and smarter Blu-ray players. So the need for these devices isn't as important as it once was. But I personally like these boxes because you can update them every year. Whereas a television set or a DVD player or a Blu-ray player, you're probably not going to upgrade those every year. I know I don't, and I'm going to use them until they become obsolete. So that's probably going to be a good 8, 10 years. Now the interesting thing about Android TV versus Google TV is that they've really taken a look at the user interface and they've made it a whole lot simpler. Unfortunately, the user interface on Google TV was somewhat of a mess. So I'm anxious to get my hands on this device. So let me grab my trusty cutter here and let's get this box open and take a look inside. Now, from what I understand, the actual remote is a uh, game controller on here. So it's gonna be similar, probably, to the Amazon Fire TV in uh, functionality because it does run Android so you can run games on here. So as you can see here it is actually still wrapped. It's still in the plastic wrap here. And it does come with a cord here. It's a USB cord. Now this is actually a dev kit USB cord. You'll notice that it's a little bit different from a regular USB cord. On one side it has a USB port, and the other side it actually has two ends to it. One's male and one's female. I don't know if I have any use for this at the moment, but I'll keep it, keep it handy because I might in the future need it. So here is the box, the Android green with white accents, and it's a pretty plain box here. Not a lot going on, nothing on the back. Let's get this thing open here with this incredibly dull cutter. I don't know if you noticed when I was getting that box open, but this thing is dull and it's getting... It, can't, it doesn't even cut plastic, look at that. It does not even cut plastic here. i got to sharpen this thing, there we go. So it was similar in price to an Amazon Fire TV because I bought mine with a game controller. And of course, as I mentioned before, this has a game controller. The only thing it doesn't have is a remote, which I would hope you'd be able to use an Android device as a remote. I would assume that's the case at least. So let's get this out of here. And there we go. But uh, let's grab the game controller out first. And this is very similar to the Amazon Fire TV game controller. As you can see here, here's the Amazon Fire TV game controller and the Android TV game controller. A little bit different the way they look. You have the offset analog sticks on the Amazon controller, whereas you have the more inline, more like a PlayStation analog sticks here. But they click in. You have your D-pad here, which is a little bit different from the D-pad here, which is just your regular cross. And this you just have 
your directions here, up, down, left, and right. You have a back button, you have probably an on button, you have a home button. You have four lights down here, which would probably indicate that this controller or this uh, system here would uh, support four controllers. You have an A, B, and an X, Y button, same as the Amazon Fire TV. And the Amazon Fire TV has its lights up top here. Now you have your shoulder buttons here, which are glossy plastic, and then your triggers here. So pretty cool. Pretty much everything is a matte black plastic except for the face here and the triggers. Then back here, it looks like you have a AA battery compartment. Let's we'll see if we can access that. There we go. Right there. Similar to the Xbox 360. Pretty cool controller, feels nice in the hand. Of course the Amazon Fire TV has your play controls down here as well. So let's see what else we have in the box here. We have a little welcome thing here. And just basically in pictures tells you how to set it up. And that's pretty simple how to do that. It requires an HDMI cord and I don't know if it's going to give you one. I do have several spares, so that's not a huge deal. A little welcome there. It says, let's get started. There's nothing under that. Now this is the box itself. It's got some heft to it, which is kind of cool. Now the interesting thing about this box, it looks like a plain black slab, right? Well, look at it from side view there. It's got four triangular feet there. And from what I understand there's a light under here that will shine and when this is down on the table you'll be able to see the light coming out from here. So there's the light there, there's the bottom, very cool looking, and it's all rubberized down here. As you'd want it to be because when it's down, when it's down on the table you don't want it sliding around. So plain black glossy plastic on the top, no branding or anything. You have a matte black plastic along the sides. And then on the back is where you have your ports, HDMI port, USB port, Ethernet port. This is your power port where you plug your power cord into. And then this is a Bluetooth pairing button. So when you want to pair a Bluetooth device to the Android TV, you click on this button here. Now, from what I understand, this device doesn't turn off unless you unplug it. So it doesn't have an on-off switch. It's an always-on device. Now, it looks like there's a plastic coating on here, but I'm actually going to leave it on there because these things tend to scratch when they're glossy like this. So, let's see if there's anything else in the box here. Okay, it does go down another layer. Let's put this to the side. All right, very nice. So it does give you the power cord, which you would hope. And the plug is not obnoxiously large. It is wide, but at least it looks like it'll fit in a power strip without giving any problems and uh, has plastic over it. And I'll probably keep that plastic on there, I don't know. But uh, matte black plastic, very nice. Let's see what else we have in here. We have some more instructions, safety information and power adapter, information on the batteries. You do get two AA batteries here. And let's see what else, if they do give you an HDMI or not. We'll see if I can get in here. Okay, so you're on your own for the HDMI, which is fairly common. I just actually bought an HDMI cord from Amazon for, I think it was like $6 and change shipped. So they're not that expensive. So let's put the AA batteries into the controller here. And it shows you how to do it. One with the male down, one with the male up, and there we go. 
So that's the first ever Android TV model number ADT-1. And again, this is the developer unit and many more versions of Android TV should be hitting the market sometime this year. So I'm going to put this device through its paces and give you my impressions of Android TV. Now just for the record, I've owned four Google TV devices, the predecessor to Android TV. So I have a good feel for what that product was all about and I can give you my opinions and contrast the Google TV versus the Android TV. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up, favorite this video, or share this video. And click on the link at the end of this video because I'm going to have a whole host of videos on this device. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.